All right, what's going on, everyone? So I haven't brewed a deck in a long time, and we might be finding out why, but I have noticed that just no one is playing Elish Norn. We were all super excited for this in previous season, right? It's a 5-mana, 4-7 with Vigilance. That's already a good start. And then whenever an ability triggers, it doubles. It's a Panharmonicon, basically. This seemed really freaking cool, and everyone's been distracted with uh, Toxic and, and stuff like that, so... I thought, what the heck, let's try to uh, to put a deck together. So what we're doing, uh, the, the key piece is actually Topiary Stomper, which has not been played much either. But what's interesting about this is when it enters, you search your library for basic land, put it onto the battlefield, so it's a ramp spell. But what makes this so good is if we play it on turn 3, it ramps us into a turn 4 Elish Norn. And if we play it after Elish Norn, then it ramps itself into 7 mana so it can be active. So it works out pretty well. We also have Ambitious Farmhand, which searches for lands. Uh, if we have Elish Nor, it gets us two to help us just hit our land drops. We also have Gallagreeters. This will also be doubled by Elish Norn and also um, helps ramp us with the treasure token. So we have lots of ways to ramp into Elish Norn. And then what's our payoff for ramping into Elish Norn? Well, we're playing stuff with Enter the Battlefield triggers. Um, Sanctuary Warden doesn't synergize as well. But, you know, it's a big flying threat. Titan of Industry, all of its effects will be doubled. We get to, it enters, and we choose two, and we can choose two twice, which is pretty cool. We're also playing a one of, fun of, Portal of Phyrexia. Makes the opponent sacrifice three creatures, then starts reanimating from the graveyard. So, that's our big payoff for ramping, but how do we survive the early game? So, first off, we have Ossification and Brutal Cathar, these do the same thing. They exile something until it leaves the battlefield. But what's interesting about these is because they are enter the battlefield effects, they will actually double with Elish Norn. So we can use Ossification on turn two and Brutal Cathar on turn three just to stall. But in the late game, we can play a Brutal Cathar and it will exile two things and that can clear the board so our attackers can get through. We also have Lunark Veteran, which is just going to gain life to help us stall out into the late game. A cool thing about this is if we have one in play and we play an Elish Norn, Elish Norn will double the trigger on itself basically, which is nice. We also have Spirited Companion, also good at stalling. Two mana, one, one, draws a card, and then it just blocks. But in the late game, if we top deck it with Elish Norn in play, it draws two, which is just fantastic. We also have Simeon Simulacrum, which is a three mana two one, but it enters and puts two plus one plus one counters on target creature. So it itself is a three mana four three basically. But if we have Elish Norn, that triggers twice, puts out tons of counters. So is this deck good? I don't know. I just threw it together really quick. I haven't tested it yet. I played it twice against Sparky. That That's where we're at. Twice against Sparky. Can confirm that uh, it beats Sparky. <laughs> so we're going to play this today and uh, see how it goes. We'll try this monstrosity. Two lands is not good, no green. If we draw all green land, it's fine, but no. This is also terrible, but we'll keep this. Put one of these back. Really wish this entered. I'm gonna play this first because I want this turn to land. All right, just a white aggro deck. Sure. Play this. Probably play Gala Greeters, make a treasure. Oh yeah, that's fine. Most of my stuff's creatures here. Alright. Yeah, that sucks. So play Gala Greeters. So stuck on lands, uh, make a treasure. We can fix that next turn though. Play Topiary Stomper to get a land no matter what. Topiary Stomper will get a land and make two treasures. Provided these Gala Greeters live. That sucks, but we'll try to survive. If we draw a green land, of course we don't. Um, I still think it's worth playing this. We'll go uh, treasure. Treasure. Then we'll play this user treasure. Now we'll get counters so we can block one ones. Get a counter. Get a counter. Get a forest. Great. So if we draw a land, we can play both of these next turn. Brutal Cathar. I don't know if there's anything I super care about. I guess Gallagreeters kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Lunark Veteran's probably more important just to gain the life since they're an aggro deck, but that's okay. Surprised they didn't attack. Well, that's good. 
We got a land, so we'll play Elish Norn. We will get two triggers now, so let's make a treasure. Let's get a counter. Gain two, then play this. Auto pay. This is going to double trigger. Draw two. And we'll get the last thing on Gallic Readers, which is gain two life. Draw two. There's another one. Oh my god. And then each of these are going to draw two. Um, that seems pretty good. No attacks. Assuming Elish Norn lives, I would say Brutal Cathar or something's probably going to get her, but we'll see. We have uh, Intrepid Adversary. Fine. One, two, three, four, five lands. So we're two away from Topiary Stomper. If we draw another one, it'd be fine. And we have plenty of opportunity with these to find another way to get uh, lands. I can't play two, but if I can get another Stomper. It'll be fine. So they didn't pay any for Intrepid Adversary. Okay. Protection from white. That's fine. I'm going to have 27 life. So it's okay. And I will use this to block here. Not even going to chance putting Elish Norn in front of it. I mean there's no death touch or anything I have to worry about. But you know just in case. I'm not risking it. Alright so let's start by tapping double white. For one of these. Which is going to get tons of triggers. We're going to get a treasure. We're going to get a counter. Gain a bunch of life. Draw a bunch of cards. Oh. Uh, one, two, three, four. So I can't play that. But I can play another one of these. We will gain two life. Draw more cards. Uh, play a land. I can play this. I guess I put it on Gallic Readers. Auto pay. Sure. So we'll do here. Here. And then attack with an 8 8. And I don't even care if this dies at this point. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have enough to cast Titan of Industry. No matter what. Alright, they just jump with the Athalia. Great. Brutal Cathar? Uh, oh yeah, the Brutal Cathars don't trigger. Oh, I forgot. I did. I forgot that part. I guess the opponent forgot too. I forgot that's part of Elishnorn. Elishnorn turns off Enter the Battlefield triggers. So that's that's one game. We saw it. It, it worked. And that demonstrates the importance of Lunark Veteran. Doesn't seem like it belongs in the deck. But it just gave us so much life with Gallic Readers as well. To just not have to worry about our life total for a while. Um, two Elish Norn going second, which sucks. We'll try it, though. Alright. Razor Verge Thicket. Opponent's doing some crazy stuff, potentially. So that's scary. Opponent is playing so obscenely slow. Bushwhack. Sure. Alright, land. Gala Greeters. So we can... Assuming Gallic Readers lives, which it should against the green deck. Play this, get a land here. Ensures we have five with the treasure. I'll get five either way. So it doesn't matter, but we'll do it anyway. Play this. Make a treasure. Take action. Get a planes. Why does it never... <laughs> I click it and it just doesn't do anything. Um, attack for one. Great, so we've got Elish Norn here, and then we can either go aggro with this or draw with this, depending on what the opponent has and stuff. So we'll we'll see see what we do here. Uh Topiary Stomper, that that's familiar. That's what I'm doing. That that's what I'm doing. Excuse me. I'm adjusting my mic. Sorry if you could hear that. I was doing it subconsciously kind of. Uh we will uh uh yeah, just play this. We will get two triggers. I will make a treasure, get a counter, and no attack. Oh, I can't attack or block. I forgot. Okay, well, I missed out on three damage there. I should know that because it's literally in my deck. I don't have this fancy one, though. The fancy showcase cards from this set were pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. I like it. I'm not going to spend 
you know, like 4,000 gold on it or whatever. Ha, uh, doesn't trigger. Doesn't trigger. Do we get to concede again? That'd be pretty funny. Oh my god, we just get free wins. People play their things, it doesn't trigger, and they're just like, nope, nope, I'm out. So I guess if we just get Elish Norn and play and people, people mess up, we just get free wins. That's the plan. I mean, this isn't great, but it's keepable, I guess. We get to, we do get to go first. So that's nice. I guess we want to see an aggro deck, because... Oh, no, I don't have double green. I guess the mana base is awkward. That's... I don't know. Don't have double green again. All right. Let's see a creature, please, so I can brutal cathart. It's not really what I want to see. So a forest off top would be great. No, but at least that's something I can play. All right, we'll play this. It only gets planes, so... That sucks, but we do get a treasure, so that we can play Topiary Stomper no matter what. Next turn. Get a... Get it. I don't know why it never clicks. It never clicks the first time I click it. Uh, no attacks. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we could play Elish Norn if we draw it. The opponent playing my deck. Excuse me, I haven't even posted it yet. H how are you playing my deck? Okay, I don't have that. All right, come on. Forest on top. Uh, I mean, I don't need this. I don't need it. I, it did its job. That's fine with me. This is also fine. Uh, it enters tapped. Uh, I'm going to play this and then play this. And then stop them from ramping. I assume they want to ramp for a reason. And I, I don't want them to. No ramping. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I could have played this this turn if I had ramped <laughs> instead of playing the Brutal Cathar. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. All right. They take my thing with their thing. Ambitious. I mean, this is a lot of the same stuff. But this looks like more of a mid-range type of thing. All right. So we're going to play Lunark Veteran. And then we're going to play Topiary Stomper. And we're going to gain a life and get a forest. Great. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One more land and the Topiary Stomper is active. Even without the land, uh, we're playing this next turn. Destroy evil, that's fine. Crawling cores, sure. Just a one, one. Exile is my thing, doesn't matter. No blocks, I'll gain the one life back regardless. Elish Norn, I really want to play that first. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do this. Gain two. No attacks. So now we get double triggers if the Elish Norn lives. They played a lot of removal. Gala Greeters doesn't remove. All right, so now we play this. Auto pay. And we get two triggers. And we're going to blow up one, art or one enchantment, that's for sure. We will blow up an enchantment. We will... Blow up an attempt, put a shield counter. Um, I will blow this up. This one. And I will put a... I didn't get to put the shield counter. Well, I'll make another shield counter and a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, shield counter here. The triggers... The ordering of the triggers is very weird, but... We got a shield counter on Elish Norn now. And we'll put one on Titan of Industry. And now we get double triggers here, so I'll take this... And this. Right, I get two creatures with Brutal Cathar because of the double triggering. And now I will... I'll just attack for four. I don't care. Their, their removal is mostly going to be exiling. And at this point, I, I feel far enough ahead that if they can kill El Elish Norn... I mean, it's not ideal, but it's fine. This ambitious farm hand will find us a seventh land to cast this because I... I used a treasure, right? So I need another one. Alright, point of passes. Well, could also just play that, can't we? Um, let's do that. Alright, gain a couple life. I will remove both of the things. Gain some more life. Great. Got some lands. I'm at 37 life, by the way. And I believe we just attack all. Maybe not with this, just in case there's some kind of destroy an attacking creature thing. 
or that. Unfortunately, Elish Norn doesn't, uh, doesn't tap. So they can exile the Titan of Industry. They go to 15. Sure. Glad I didn't attack with this. I mean, they probably still would have hit the Titan, but... Don't want... Because uh, there's not too much stuff here. Nothing too crazy. Alright, puts a counter on my thing. Interesting. Uh, so let's, uh, do this. We will... Do a shield counter on a Rhino. And a shield counter on a Rhino. And we'll put a shield counter here. And we'll put a shield counter... Uh... Uh... I don't know, here. And we'll gain some life. And then we will... Do... One... Uh... Two... Uh... Three... Four here. And you... And you, you... Maybe not you. And not you. But you here. Great. And I will remove a counter. Get a land. Gain some life. I'm at 45. So this is where they play fra uh, farewell. And it just ruins my life, right? I think so. And there's... Would they be playing farewell? I mean, they, they are playing a lot of removal. So maybe... Cycle. So no farewell may- Oh, no. A land and farewell is still possible. That's pretty good. But I think they're just dead here, right? Possibly. I mean, we got shield counters and stuff. It's so many lands. Holy crap. Um, so we'll just play this. Take action. Get a planes. Take action. Get a planes. And then I think we just attack all at them. That should be game. Could I be wrong? Maybe. But we'll find out. Sure. So that has trample. That's good. And they're dead. All right. We did it. I mean, this deck's working. It's technically working. All right. Got the same avatar. I've started uh, using flavorful avatars for uh, for these videos, like whatever whatever the current set is. So I'm using Elish Norn and the the Mastery Pass pet. Um, I guess this is keepable. We don't have anything like that we want, but it's fine. That's pretty good. So Lunark Veteran. So play Brushland. Play Gallic Greeters next turn. Could be white aggro again. Seen lots of white decks. Reckoner, Bankbuster, so like a white... Oh, uh, a white mid-range thing would be my expectation. We'll take a damage from the land, then we'll gain a life, then we'll attack for one. Nice. So do we save Topi uh, Topiary Stomper until after we play Elish Norn is the question. I guess it depends if we top deck a land. Anointed Peacekeeper is going to be very annoying. It's probably going to target my Elish Norn. Chooses Gallagreeters. So I guess that makes our, our decision for us. We're going to play this. Auto pay. We will uh, make a treasure. Get a forest. Gain a life. No attacks. So I think if I play Elish Norn, it's like very almost guaranteed to get hit with some kind of removal spell. I think next turn I want to play Gala Greeters. That way I can Elish Norn and Ossification in the same turn. Uh, no blocks here. If I don't draw a land, I'll play Farmhand first to get a Plains. Play that, then Gala Greeters. Because I just don't trust that Elish Norn will live for a turn. Uh, sure... Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five. I only have one. Yeah, I think I... Gala Greeters. I will... Get a treasure. 
So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. All right, this will make another treasure. I forgot. Draw the card. That's fine. All right. So we will get a counter, get a treasure, get a land. Um, no attack. So next turn I can one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Yeah, I can play Elish Norn. Then play Authentication, get double triggers. They could have instant speed removal, like Faithful Absence, for example. But I think that's the best play. We also have one, two, three, four, five, six. One more land and Topiary Stomper becomes active. Opponent attacks. Um, interesting. Four, five. So no, no board sweeper. I think I just take this. I'm gonna gain some life next turn, so it's fine. Sure. Wedding announcement. All right. So don't have to worry about Wandering Emperor here. So let's play Elish Norn. Tons of triggers. We will make a treasure. We will uh, make a treasure. We will uh, get a counter. We will gain two life. Great, and then we'll play Ossification, targeting this, auto pay, get double triggers, target Thalia, target Anointed Peacekeeper, they should crew the Bank Buster here, yep, and then we are going to no attack, so land farewell will ruin my life. This is a deck that's going to be just, it's going to lose the farewell probably. Brutal Cathar, um, yep, here we go. Do we get the concede? Do we get the concede because the thing? Because Elish Norn? Yeah, these two, these two, bud. Do we get the concession? It was Elish Norn. It's right here. Yeah, they're reading it now. Do we get the concession? Come on. Come on. It's worked every time. Aw. Alright, so let's hope we draw some gas. I mean, the land's gonna turn Topiary Stomper on. Yes. I mean, that's alright. We'll play this. Get a ton of triggers. We're going to get counters now. Counter. Counter. Uh, I don't know. Gain life. Gain life. We'll get a forest. And this is loud. Get a planes. Great. And then uh, we'll pay for you to flip. And then we will. I mean, they can flip a. Or they can crew Bankbuster. So I think I'm just going to attack with these. Bankbuster will trade probably with Gallagreeders. Yep. But they only have six power, so they can't kill Elish Norn. So that's what I expected. Yep, that's all fine. They go to 11. And we will pass. So now we have two 4-4s four with Vigilance. Elish Norn has vi Vigilance. Don't have to worry about uh, Wandering Emperor with those. That's pretty good. That flips. Oh my god, that's like... The best possible thing, holy crap. So let's play this. We're going to, for sure, let's get counters. And we're going to destroy an artifact. We're going to get a shield counter. Um, we'll put a shield counter here. Oh, nope, we're destroying the artifact or the enchantment. Um, we will uh, make a treasure. We will make a 4-4 four, four and get a shield counter. Put a shield counter here. We will gain two life. And we will put a shield counter here. Alright, so can we win? The answer is no. They have too many blockers. We will... Oh, they just concede. That works. I mean, that works. I don't have to think about it now. So, nice. I'm going to 4-0. That was pretty crazy. Alright, so that's... uh. Norn ramp this thing I put together really quick. I mean it all worked out as expected. Um Lunark Veteran gaining life to stall um Gallagreeters and Topiary Stomper ramping into Elish Norn. 
um, getting tons of mana for this big stuff, um, the stalling with ossification and Brutal Cathar, both good early and post Elish Norn by doubling up the exile. All of it worked fine, worked pretty well. I think we got lucky in that we didn't get matched up against Phyrexian Obliterator, which uh, does sort of obliterate us, and uh, Farewell. Um, we're definitely a deck that needs to like build a board and have it not be touched, so not getting matched up against board sweepers is good. Um, kind of lucky for us there, but uh, I would say probably not worth playing on the ladder for those reasons. But in unranked, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun deck. So there you go. Norn Ramp. First deck I've brewed in a while. Let me know how I did. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.